Hello, 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 hello. Sean Brady, and we're talking about direct cleaning. No, but you know it'll right. blow the guy's ears out right. and gals ears out. <laughs> Transcribing stuff. So direct cleaning is essentially, uh, and Casey Turpin came in what a week and a half ago, yeah. two weeks ago, and she had this passion for cleaning, the uh, specifically cleaning residential. And I was looking for a cleaning person for a long time and met her and find out she wanted to do this. So I actually encouraged her to go off on her own and start her own cleaning company. So she did that. It was my fault. And uh, so now she's her own business owner. And like many business owners, the problem becomes how do you get more business consistently uh, because there's only so many cleaning jobs. Fortunately or unfortunately, she started at a great time in the market where it's the holiday slowdown. You don't need cleaning anymore. So I started looking around, and as I'm developing all these real estate relationships, uh, I was in a, uh, a prep for an open house, and the uh, owner of the property had uh, three realtors come by as just a broker showing without any clients or anything, and the place was just dusty and dirty. It didn't show well. It was a great property, but it didn't show well because it wasn't clean. nice and tidy and clean. So I started thinking, what if there was a way to work with the realtors in the market to have a more of a direct cleaning type of specified thing? They're not cleaning the whole house on a weekly basis that's necessarily lived in, but something that's ancillary for somebody who's really passionate about it instead of just a regular crew where it would make a lot of sense for her to do something like that. The larger franchises for the merry maids and stuff like that that really want a fuller job you know, and have more set up times, this is gonna be a little bit more sporadic because as soon as the house sells, the, the job is over. But on a weekly basis, it's still gonna need a weekly cleaning. So what I didn't know is, one, if something like this would work for her, it would, she hasn't totally thought it through yet. And for the realtors, I think it would work for them. But I don't know if it's a good idea overall or not. I mean, I know I have my cleaning person taken care of. She's great. She'll be there on a you know regular basis. But she just works her one day a week. And for the other times, I'm like, well, would you like more business? She's like, oh, my gosh, I'd love if I could do more business. But she doesn't necessarily want to go out and find the business. She likes to be referred to. I got her through a referral from another network. So they, they're awesome at cleaning and they're probably much better than the other ones I've had from the other services I've used but how do we sustain and help them doing the business using people who like to network going back to CCC connector circle does she have a region or geographic area that she focuses on uh, she currently lives out in st. Charles County so st. Charles so West County would be fine to get to Anywhere else, you know, and my, my cleaning lady, she currently uh, lives down in South County. So she comes up and over. But, but there's great people like that that I think could do these types of businesses. What's, um, for one singular person, what's kicking up into my head is that you take your schedule, and I'm often, I always point everybody to the schedule, but you package it into half days mm -hmm. and pick a region. And then you point realtors towards that. So Chesterfield, St. Charles, and you say that's the schedule. And if you have a home in that area, it's available on that time. Right. Because I think of if she just makes herself available to all the realtors all over, she's, she's driving gonna, all over. It's not time. efficient. Right. But if she can get it all done in that region, which is in a certain, you know, five mile radius, mm -hmm. then she can probably make the Make it work. Well, <clears throat> go ahead, Tom. I, I was going to say, how does she want to scale her business? Because if she wants to scale her business, then taking all comers and just setting up the systems and the workforce to handle it is doable. If she's going to be bouncing around as a solo operator, then you're absolutely right. Um, and and I think answering that question also. Is um, is going to instruct um, how she 
how she grows this. I mean, my first question is, is there really a need for this? Or do, do most realtors sort of have some arrangement already in place? I don't know the answer to that. And if, if you talk to a bunch of realtors who say, oh yeah, you know, that's a real headache for me. I need this. Um, then the next question, so that would be the first thing I did. Uh, the, the next question would be, all right, if, you know, how much capacity does she have? It's two hours per gig, so maybe she does, um, you know, uh, four of these a day at best, um, 20 of these a week at best, um, and that assumes that the realtors are okay with the idea of having this happen on Wednesday and Thursday, or when their open houses are going to be on Tuesday and Sunday. Um, so maybe they just want it on Mondays and Saturdays. I don't know. But if she could fill 20 spots, that's a hell of a lot easier to sell than, you know, she's going to build a big old business and, and need to scale it. Um, she could fill 20 spots worth of mouth, probably. Possibly, yeah. Well, who's, yeah. Your, who's your customer? Because it's either the realtor or the homeowner. I, mean, I, I think I mean, for the, the realtors, you know, you know, this you're running on a fee you're going to make. I mean, you're basically a, is a realtor going to pay for it up front and just say, well, it's part of my marketing cost, or is the realtor got to sell it on the sell their seller and say, look, your house needs to get cleaned regularly during the showing process. It's going to help it sell. It's part of the staging process. And then you got to have somebody be able to tell the seller, even though the realtor's in the middle. The way I thought it through was you sell the. Uh, off brokerage office, so if it was a Keller Williams or a Coldwell Banker, you make that known that it's a known service, and make it either a fee based thing to that gets billed back to the the customer. Say, hey, look, here's what we recommend. You can use your own people. Otherwise, we have a crew that goes in, kind of like what Tom was saying on a on a Tuesday, Wednesday for the deeper clean, and then a touch up before the weekend open house or something like that. That way, you know, the bathrooms are sparkly. You know, ideally it doesn't look as lived in, but you know, it's, it, it is clean on a weekly basis because that's a huge, I mean that was, when I bought my house, I can promise you I saved tens of thousands of dollars because it showed poorly. It was on the market for over a year. Yeah. And there was, it should have just been clean, it would have sold in a month. I, I feel like we're bouncing between a pro, two different problems. Yeah, go ahead. How do we help her grow her business? Yeah. And how do we build a business that is designed to target open house cleaning? So I would probably focus on the target open house cleaning. Okay, so we like, so let's assume that we like the idea of open house cleaning. Okay. That's a niche that isn't being served. Right. Right, how would we go about doing that? Yes. Okay. And do you target the, res the real estate brokers, the offices, or the individual homes, right? Yeah, and I was thinking the brokers, but that's why I brought it to the table because I, I don't think know. Tom, did, I like you got to you got to get some research mm -hmm. and talk to the realtors whether this, there's a real need for this or not. Yeah, you might have. That's why I talked to you about the real estate thing. Earlier. Yeah, I was just saying it's a great segue <laughs> for an ask for me today, but um, <laughs> because it, it, you're, you're paddling upstream if they say, oh. No, yeah, that comes up every once in a while, but we have people that come, come in and do a quick cleaning for us. I don't know about you guys, but I've had, I've had cleaning people for my house before, and they, they love to live by the, I do this house on Monday, this house yeah. on this time. Yeah, that's why I was I trying to regiment see, it. I can just see people getting in this th th because they want to try to fill their spots, and then soon as... They fill it with a, a permanent house, it's so going to be hard, and then those realtors are going to be struggling and ticked off. And uh, it's an offshoot of the construction cleanup, though. It's the same mindset that construct, you know, the heavy duty construction cleanups. Yeah, crews they they're not used to the Monday, the Tuesday. So right, but what are they doing? Besides, what can they do besides that? Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is, is the well, I think they're you know that, that's why there does need to be the market research there. <clears throat> is there even a need for it? I think there is, but... How many people do you think you need to talk to to answer the question? How many realtors? I don't know, at least a couple dozen. Raise your hand if you can introduce a realtor to Sean. 
Oh, this is great because I have to say, I, get to do the couple I want you to, <laughs> I want you to introduce a realtor to me. So this is perfect. <laughs> right. So interesting, tight that what if we had a panel of uh, realtors discussion? Oh, let me take this back to McGee. <laughs> Every month, took the if we had our realtor group cool. here, yep, it'd be a great focus group. Right the that group. would be really good food because then we could talk about multiple about things. Total, absolutely. And if one idea gets shot down straight away, then there's always another thing to fill it up with. A two hour strategy session amongst realtors would be awesome. And Once a month. And you're actually yep, thinking yep. about hiring them. Yep. And the DT serves the top <clears throat> So that so not to totally switch gears here, but how what would be the how would we get the realtors in the room? Well, we we've done this once and a half we've done it one and a half times. We had a hot topic of let's best practices of real estate and it's sponsored by Rockwood Bank. We got about ten in the room and it was awesome. Very intimate, great thing. And then Michael tried to do one and he got two. In the, in the room, and it was all I mean, like, it was good, even though you only had two. I guess technically, so I had my real estate license, so, <laughs> so it's, so it's literally the same challenge that we did put to Bob is to put right. something on the calendar and post <clears throat> hot topics in real estate. So, how soon would let's see, how how quickly can we do that? Because I know the 6th of That's February so is available. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Uh, I I've talked it. with you know Tom Robinson, who was here before, yeah. and he's you know, he's only in like half a week or something but he has a couple of real estate friends that I think he could bring in like Mike Poley too and he was saying I think at the end of next week in February yeah he was thinking about maybe Friday so I think that would be the I thought it wasn't in until March I mean if but each one of us got a real estate agent doesn't it'd matter it'd be a successful it'd be awesome powwow and what we have to just have one or more than well, you know, you have to bring 50, yeah. you know. We've got bring as many as you can. Well, I know we can introduce and get a list. I just want to make sure they show up. No, I'm talking about people that have a relationship with, not just people that Yeah, no, I, I mean, I know quite a few myself. Yeah, I know you know. And, you know, I'd rather... So it's instant feedback on a focus group. Yeah. Yeah. You guys hire this person, bring right. her, right. and say, boom, here's my match. Here's stuff. You, She's I would come up with, like, polished. three or four topics... One being direct house cleaning. What well, you have a real estate idea that you want? So there's two pitch ideas. Or whatever. Ted Ted has a show that he could pitch. Right. So there's three, and there's your agenda for your launch of real estate topics, and and okay. see how many real estate agents we can get into the Okay. Yeah, I mean, the focus group is you're you're asking to draw from them. Correct. So I would I would build your agenda with two things of direct value to them and then the you know especially if this thing is going to be a repetitive structure and you're going to you're going to bring them in you know every time you come in one one time we'll talk about social media and blogging for real estate Vlog. and steve will be there and give you 20 minutes of blogging for real estate and then there's always a, a, a focus group it. or a pick your or a pick your brain topic um you know, I I think I it's think a hard awesome. sell to get people to drive to Medici to tell Sean if his business idea is good. I, right. I actually think people want to help. So so yeah. I think they would come and say, come be a part of a focus group first with a and we and here's how we help you. We'll give you tips. I, I love combining those two. A yeah. half and half, right? Mm -hmm. Fifty give, fifty back. Right. Sure. I like it. Sean, do you have it? Are you busy Thursday? We could work on this. Uh. I'll have to check after we stop recording. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think that's good. So the other thing I thought of is, I know realtors like to go to open houses or forums where there's food or drink, but drink might not be good anymore because people are getting in trouble. Right now. But I like the whole idea, especially with the vlogging part, because then we're just building audience. I think you're doing all. I think it's awesome. Okay, that's a good topic. Thank you. You're welcome. Unless somebody had Nancy, you had your hand up. Did you have something else to add? No. Okay, great. I is, it, is, there a be, is it for women too? It is for. Uh, <laughs> it is definitely for women. No, I mean, mostly women. What's cool is it's Not necessarily. It's the migration of the idea of how to help cleaning the real or other businesses. Yeah, Absolutely. Great. So now we're now we're truly getting Medici, yep. right? Cool. It's very Medici. Brian, you're drawing away.